Hey kids, Dr. Brooks here with your first lesson on the unit circle. So this is, um, you're, you're being introduced to trigonometry and we are going to start by talking about angles and the angles that lie within the unit circle. So, so far in mathematics for you through algebra and through geometry, you've learned about angles in, you have expressed angles in terms of a measurement. Maybe you've used a protractor or measured angles before, um, used formulas to find angles. This is the first time that you are going to talk about angles in relation to a movement in which there will be a starting point and an ending point for your angles. So on my whiteboard here, I drew the coordinate plane with a circle. And if you can see, I tried to draw this in a little bit darker. Right here I have a ray, and then I have another ray, both going from the origin. So the one that goes to the right, with the starting point at the origin, and the ray, the arrow going along the positive x-axis, we're going to call that the initial ray. And if we were going to move this angle, say we're going to start to rotate around the circle, but not the whole way, maybe to here, we would end up at 90 degrees. We would form a right angle. And that would be, of this angle right here, that would be called the terminal ray. So you have an initial ray and you have a terminal ray. Okay? So I already put in my initial ray and we are going to call that zero degrees. This is 90 degrees. If I go another 90 degrees, I've gone 180 degrees. 0, 90, 180. If I go another 90, I'm down here at 270 degrees. 0, 90, 180, 270. If I go another 90, I'm at 360 degrees. So that's a little introduction about degrees. Let's start to talk about radians. Radians can be expressed in terms of pi or in decimals. So you can have pi radians or you can have decimal radians. Um, before I put those values in the circle, I want to define what a radian is. So in mathematical history, degrees came first. Things were expressed in degrees. And then more recent mathematical history were the radians. And mathematicians found radians and called a radian. A radian happened when arc length was equal to the radius. So let's just talk about what that is. So here's our circle, not the best circle, um, but we're going to say arc length is equal to the radius. So let's just draw what a radian would be. So here's the arc. When the arc length is equal to the radius, I'm going to color that in. So the arc length, which is here, is equal to the radius, which is from the center to the end of the circle. So there's the arc, and there's the radius. When that happens, you have one radian. So that is one radian. What is one radian? Well, it was found that one radian was 180 degrees divided by pi. So that equals one radian. Hmm. So one radian is, if you get out your calculator and you plug that in and you do 180 divided by 3.14 pi, you are going to get 180 divided by pi, I would say approximately, is approximately 57.2958 degrees. Okay? So we're not quite to 60. But that is what one radian is. Okay, so how many radians fit in a circle? Well, let's find out. So 
we know we're not quite at 60. So let's say we're right about there. There's your first radian right there. And then there's your second. So you have one, you have two. There's three because this would be 60, 120, 180. You know you're not all the way to 180 because you, you're not all the way to 60 here, okay? So we have, we have one, we have two, we have three. Let's put our fourth one here and our fifth one here. One, two, three, four, five. And we have our sixth one and a little bit more, okay? So, one, two, three point, one, two, three, four, five, six points, two, eight radians in a full revolution. All right. So, we can go 360 degrees around the circle, or we can go. 6.28 decimal radians around the circle. How many pi radians could we go around the circle? Well, let's find out. So, we know one of our angles in terms of pi already, and that is zero. Before we go anywhere, we're at zero degrees, and that is equal to zero pi. So before we go anywhere, we're at zero degrees, we're at zero pi, and we're also at zero decimal radians. If we go halfway, let's say we come halfway around the circle, what is half of 6.28? It's not a coincidence. It's 3.14. It's pi. Halfway around the circle is pi. 180 is pi. It is 3.14 goes on forever. That is why we can use 180 equals pi for conversion. So let's do that. Let's start cutting our circle into fourths and see what happens. So let's start with 90. So 90 is half of 180. So 90 is pi over 2. So you can convert it and say, oh, if I put 180 in there for pi and divide it by 2, I have 90 degrees. That will work every time. Now there's another way that I would like you to look at this, and that is to go ahead and move around the circle in terms of pi. So we're going pi over twos. So we're at zero pi over two. Here's one pi over two. Is this two pi over two? Well, two pi over two reduced is pi. So it is. 2 pi over 2, it is pi. Let's start again. 0 pi over 2, 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, this should be 3 pi over 2. Is that true? Well, guess what 3 times 180 divided by 2 is? 270 degrees. 3 times 180 divided by 2, 2 goes into 180. 90 times 3 times 90 is 270. That's true. Start again. 0 pi over 2, 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. Is that 4 pi over 2? 4 pi over 2 reduced is 2 pi. What's 2 times 180? 360. So that's true. So I'm going to end my first video here and just call this an introduction to the unit circle. 
In my next video, I'm gonna break everything into the 45s. What I would like you to do um, to, to prepare to, to learn your unit circle is to go out and, well, see if you have any note cards laying around the house. And if you don't have index cards or anything, you can just get little pieces of paper or whatever you can find. What I'm going to want you to do is eventually to help you learn your circle, let's just say you're trying to remember, there's gonna be a lot of degrees in terms of pi to remember around the circle. So say you're trying to remember 90 degrees is pi over two and you don't wanna to have to convert it or get out your calculator when we get to more difficult ones. On one side, I want you to put 90 degrees and on the other side, you'll put your pi over two. So someone could quiz you and you could see pi over two and you could say 90 degrees and, and you can learn all your degrees and terms of pi for your unit circle. So that'll be um, just your first assignment to start looking for something that you could use or if you have index cards laying around the house. And then in my next video, we'll get into the 45s. Thanks, I hope you all are doing good. Have a great day.